Hey, welcome back to Aces World of Math, part two of the significance test for difference of means. We are going to go through and summarize it here. If you want to see the experience that we went through to kind of get a sense of how it works, that's in the previous video. As you can see, I'm back to school, so forgive any foibles or any mistakes that I might make, and hopefully I'll get this down by the time we're done, right? All right, so only one learning target, and it's all the basics, right? It is just that our t-score here, okay, is going to go through and um, for that we are going to take the difference of our two, difference of the two samples that we have, and then we're going to subtract that from the difference that we know that is happening with our means, or we are assuming that we're having with our means. This part right here, okay, is typically going to be what your null hypothesis is, okay? So not anything big there. And then remember, our standard deviation down here is going to be the standard error of the first one squared. Always make sure you do that. Plus, and then divided by N1, and then this um, sample error, standard deviation of the second one, divided by N2, all right? From there, then what we're going to end up doing is then remember here we're going to get um, for the, get your p value out of this. Okay, you're going to go ahead. We've got our curve here, so you can either use table B or um, TCDF. And in TCDF, remember just like before, you're going to go lower, upper, and degrees of freedom, right? So lower t value upper t value and our degrees of freedom all right so in this down over here we're always going to label it as t and degrees of freedom okay so down below another example go ahead and go ahead and read through it set it up pause it while you do that and then come on back and we'll kind of talk through it and we'll see where things go all right see you in a minute Okay, so the problem, remember, this landfill, does polyester decay faster if it's been buried longer? Whole bunch of stuff in here. They took, um, they're going to do 10 buried strips of polyester, independently chosen. Five of them they're going to dig up after two weeks, and not the other five they're going to go ahead and do after 10 weeks, excuse me, 16 weeks. Information is here. You can figure out what's going on here. Um, you can get the mean. You can also figure out the standard deviation like we normally did. So your first setup for stating Mu1 uh, minus mu2 is the difference between the breaking strengths because that's how they're measuring how fast it decayed. My difference of means over here, actually, you know what? Let me do this. Okay, my difference of means over here, um, we subtracted the two values that I got from here. That's going to do, yep, that's what I thought. Okay, um, so we got from there. My alternative, or my hypothesis is obviously, my null hypothesis, there is no difference here. And then um, we're saying, hey, yeah, the alternative hypothesis is that, yeah, the ones that are buried longer, or the breaking strength of the newer ones, one's not buried quite so long, is going to be stronger than the other ones. And actually, it does bear out over here that that's the case. So let's do the plan. So um, two sample t-test from mu1 minus mu2. We have random assignments, so that's great. We don't have to worry about the 10% rule because they're independent, okay? So everything was independently chosen and assigned, so we don't even have to worry about that. And then for normal, when you look at the two dot plots, there's no strong skewer outliers, so we're good to go there. For the do, stat minus null over standard deviation. And again, remember, we have you guys do this part here so that it gets stuck in your head. Um, and also just shows that you're a smart AP student. We have our regular formula here. When we plug stuff in, so here's my graph. A T is four because we have two samples of five. We don't have to worry about the smaller one. And then over here for the division stuff, these standard deviations we got from running the one variable stats up above, okay? Run it all out, we get a T value of 0.99. And that, or yeah, t-value of 0.99, and when we run it with four degrees of freedom, we get a p-value just under 19%. So it doesn't look like polyester goes much faster. So 
over here for our conclusion, assuming that there is no difference in means, there is a 0.189 probability of getting a difference if sample means a 0.74 or greater, purely by chance. The, and actually, you know what, I was just thinking, this was something that I forgot to put in the other one, I think. So my apologies for that. This is not, anyway, regardless of that, since we've got almost 19%, that's not statistically significant because again, that's bigger than our alpha value of five. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis and cannot conclude that polyester decays faster when buried longer than two weeks. So remember in some ways, this right here is a key phrase. We're not saying it's for sure that happens, that it's just that we can't conclude that polyester decays faster. So we're not saying it doesn't decay, we're just saying it doesn't decay faster the longer it's built in there because we don't have any evidence to say that, okay? So we can't conclude that that happens. We're not saying that it doesn't decay. Anyway, I'm babbling at this point. It's time for me to go and get ready for my first, first hour in 13 months. So way to date the video, Hayes. Anyway, if you have any questions, say it down below, throw a like, comment, subscribe, all that other good stuff. And I will see you for one more lesson on this and then we're almost done. We've only got about like maybe six lessons after that. So then we start prepping. So here we go. Talk to you later.